new helicopter unboxing here. Something new from Yushang. Comes in a nice carrying case. F09S Coast Guard helicopter. This one's got a lot of new features. It's got one button landing, GPS positioning, fail safe return, straight return, one button landing, smart low power return. It um, then it has your uh, 6G mode manual mode and um the nice thing about this is um the old one you'd fly it around and when the battery went dead it just went down with this one it has fencing so that if the battery gets low it won't let you go more than 20 feet away and it will auto return if the battery gets too low it has like three levels of battery going down too too low and um, this is going to be cool to test so it comes a really nice case comes in a really nice case Packaged really nicely. It's got a balance charger. And this hooks into it. Original Blackhawk did not have balance charger. Here's the batteries. Comes with a little camera. I don't have anything to receive the camera right now. This controller. It's got these protective gimbals. Pretty nice. <clears throat> it's got a. Optical mode, GPS mode, and return to home, um, throttle lock, auto and manual mode, and then a couple of uh, pre-programmed modes, like this one makes the helicopter circle at point of interest, and then this one up here makes it fly in a heart-shaped pattern, I don't know why they would do that, I don't know. It's got some protective film on here. Um, it's got auto land, some kind of camera button. Don't know what it's for. Um, high and low speed. Um, and then a mode switch. I saw an insert in the manual that talked about pushing the mode and then moving the sticks a certain way, and it would make the helicopter flip upside down by itself. I don't know if we want to try that just yet. Just kind of trying to understand what they were talking about. They're talking about something about um, this stick down this way and this one up. That kind of seems dangerous to me if you don't do it right. And here's the heli. It's the same as the. Uh, Green Blackhawk, except for all the new features, it has 
as far as flying it, um, but as far as it's just it's, it's as far as the way it looks, it's the exact same molded body, just different. It's in a Coast Guard livery. Um, it's got a new <clears throat> where the hole is right there. It's an optical um, mode camera that looks at the ground so that it you can put an optical mode and it'll go um, up to it seems like they, I think they said a few meters off the ground and it can see the ground and it'll, it'll hold itself as steady as it can. it'll hold itself as steady as it can by seeing the ground um, that's in the optical mode and if you can put it in a GPS mode and it'll hold at any altitude. Um, it's attitude. Um, it, I think also when it's close to the ground, when it's in GPS, it'll use the optical mode on the ground also, which is kind of nice in case you have um, not a great GPS signal. The optical ground mode will also assist in keeping it steady. The uh, battery goes in the same way. It's got brushless motor. Um, there's two, one for tail and one for the heli. Basically the same landing gear. The balance charger should be pretty quick, or pretty cool. Um, evidently it balances all the cells make sure make sure they're charged evenly that was one of the number one complaints with the original helicopter also the helicopter this time did not come with one of the batteries in the machine um, a lot of people complained that when it came with the battery in the helicopter that basically while it's in the helicopter it could potentially be um, draining the battery and some people had some problems with batteries being dead so now they're all in Side slot comes with extra blades, has the original tail and main, some extra screws, European plug, um, don't see, um, I don't see a spotlight this time, might have to ask him about that. Seems like it should have a spotlight, but it doesn't. I don't see one anywhere here. Got all the wheels on there, tail wheels on there. I love the Coast Guard livery. Doors open just like the original Blackhawk. That might be good um, when it's really hot out, help ventilate it. wait to fly this baby original flies so well this one also has the um, power fencing in that when the power gets low it will only let you go so so far away I think it's I think it's 20 meters is about the farthest you can go and about the farthest high you can go when um, batteries low so that it has enough time to fly back and the other thing is once the battery gets to stage two low it flies back automatically so the original one if you didn't like set a timer on your phone or something or put it on a, another radio type that has a, an alarm um, if you flew it too long and lost track when when batteries low it just goes down pretty fast and Although I never broke it, it was kind of scary that it would just go down like that. I mean, I've seen people fly this thing over water, and that would be disastrous if they went down over the water. Um, especially being a Coast Guard helicopter. <laughs> anyway, um, man, I can't believe the case they have on this thing. It's like, really? Um, really? 
really nice. It comes with a little screwdriver in there too. So, I'm gonna take this out. Probably Sunday, and uh, give her a spin. There. F09 dash S. Blackhawk. Coast Guard livery. Very cool. Oh, and this um, radio has telemetry. It's supposed to tell you the height, speed, the direction it's going in. Pretty cool. Fuck the flying. <laughs>